It's like I got like a major nose job. Oh. Oh, it feels so weird in the forehead. Oh. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Today I have a K-beauty haul for you. I have a bunch of skincare, body care, and makeup to try. So let's dive into it. So the first product I have here is a intense pore and blackhead mask, carbonated water, 10% pore mask. So on the back, it says that this is a special home care mask for pores, relying on the efficacy of carbonated hot springs in shrinking pores. It says, it's best to use this once every two to three days. Let's just open it up. So inside we have the little syringe filled with, I don't know, like the good stuff, the ingredients. And then we've got, I guess like a, it looks like a giant nose strip. It's so big. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm just going to spread. What is this? This like gel. That's it. That's all of it. It's so big. And then I'm just going to like use my fingers to kind of spread that gel around because it didn't cover everywhere. Oh. It's already bubbling up. I can like feel it fizzing. <laughs> it looks so funny. It's like the biggest nose strip ever. I kind of feel like I needed more gel because obviously not all of this is covered. Let's just assume this is what it's going to look like. So I'm meant to just like dab it, activate the CO2 and then leave this on for exactly 23 minutes. It's kind of odd. I don't know why they say 23 minutes. Usually masks say like five to 10 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes, but 23 minutes. So I guess I'll be back. It's like I got like a major nose job and then like the, the surgeon just patched me up and did a really rough job. Oh, it's kind of getting hot. I can feel it kind of heat up a little bit. It's getting warmer. So it's been 23 minutes. This thing is kind of like, almost like burning me. I don't know, but I think it's time to remove this. I mean, I don't really see anything. I'm trying to look to see if my pores look different, but I think I need to rinse this off. So I'll be right back. All right, I've washed my face and you guys can't probably tell from this angle, but I did take some photos on my phone. I'm looking at it, like the before and after. I mean, I guess there's like, I don't know. I really can't see that much of a change, to be honest. Can't say it's a game changer, guys. It's definitely a thing that you gotta use like every two, three days to probably see major results and maybe a good alternative if you don't wanna be like squeezing or like, you know, using the blackhead strips that kind of like wax your nose. Yeah, would I use it again? Probably not, I'm glad I only bought one. Next, I got this like body and leg firming roller. I don't know, I, it just looked interesting to me. To be honest, I don't take care of my body enough. And so I thought, you know, I'd give this a go. It's meant to just firm up your skin, kind of tighten everything. It's got these like little massage balls on either side and the product comes out from the middle here. It's just this clear gel. Let's test it out on my wings. Actually, I should look at the ingredients, but it's on Korean. Hey Zen, can you read this? Zen's Korean. No, she's not. Zen can read Korean, so she's gonna be my translator. Well, I'm kind of doing it a little bit wrong because you're supposed to use this after you shower. Same thing, you know, I showered this morning. It's just been a couple of hours. I'll just put it on. So you just work it on the areas that you're more concerned with, whether it be your like thighs, legs, tummy, or arms. I'm gonna try it on my arms because that's the easiest and I am wanting to firm this thing up. Because I'm doing it, like under here and gravity is just not gonna be in my favor. I'm just going to apply the syrup. Oh, it smells nice. I just work it in there. I mean, it kind of feels nice. It feels like a massage, you know what I mean? Like, okay, not like a deep tissue massage, but it's definitely getting right in there. And you don't have to use a lot of pressure. I don't know if this is gonna help. I think I need to do this like every day for like a month to see major results. As you can see, it's made this side more red. <laughs> okay, well, I'm definitely not gonna see, see results after just like one rolling session. Might as well just even it out though. I wonder, cause you only get like 120 mils of this. And if you're using it on like your whole body, it's obviously gonna go quickly. I wonder if I can just put my lotions or something, right? Goodbye, love handles. Okay, I think if I was to do this, we're gonna be here all day. Abs, here I come. Let's talk about the texture. It actually feels like a thicker sort of serum. Oh, this side's like 
absorbed it's like not sticky or anything so if you don't like those you know like lotions that sort of like it's really sticky and tacky afterwards this is not that it definitely feels a lot lighter it doesn't absorb like super quick so you have time to like keep rolling if you know what i mean but yeah this side that i've done like it just feels nice and soft it smells nice too yep I guess I'll keep using this and like, I'll see if it works. You know, you'll see my try on hauls if I suddenly have abs, you know why. Now let's firm up my face. I've partnered up with Foreo for this segment. They just launched their new V-shaped facial yoga workout on their app. If you haven't heard of facial yoga, it's basically a workout for your face. It engages the muscles to help create a more lifted and toned appearance. Just like most exercises, you need to do it regularly and it takes time to see results but with the Foreo Bear the microcurrent device you can actually see results immediately to do this I just connect my Bear device to the app on my phone select the v-shape yoga workout set the microcurrent intensity I like to put mine on the highest setting and also turn on the t-sonic pulsations to help improve my circulation and reduce puffiness right now the device is emitting electrical currents to help refine and contour my skin but don't worry this isn't painful as the device has an inbuilt anti-shock system I really like how easily the device glides across my skin and I can target specific areas like my neck and jawline here's what my face looks like after the workout you can see in the after photo that my jawline is more defined my skin also feels firmer and more lifted best of all it's super quick and easy to use and the device lasts up to 90 uses per charge if you guys are interested in checking out the Foreo Bear I have a link for you guys to use it below the next thing I got is this vibrating makeup brush now we've all seen those like gimmicky vibrating makeup brushes and I think I tried one like four years ago this one is called the cover fit vibrating brush for perfect makeup by a Korean brand called Vanav I got it on yesterday it has two different heads that you can change so one is a kabuki type brush it's really like dense and the other one is just like a makeup sponge or like a sponge puff if you know what i mean inside the box you also get english instructions so there's a little booklet which i appreciate it's pretty easy to attach and detach the head so you can take them off to wash this thing is actually operated by batteries so you don't want to be submerging this in the water so you want to take off the heads when you wash them i want to try both heads out i'll just do one side with the sponge and one side with the brush brush booky thing <laughs> for foundation i'm using the rare beauty foundation in 180w so i've already like prepped my skin i've applied moisturizer and primer and i'm just going to like just dot this foundation and then turn on the brush it has three modes so let's this is the first one oh i don't know if i'm supposed to pat this in or kind of glide it. i think i'm supposed to like glide it and spread the foundation out. Oh my God, it's so tingly. <gasps> I need to read this book again. Got it, I was a bit confused. I was applying it on high. When you turn it on, it goes from high and then to like a little bit slower and then the slowest, a little bit backwards, but yeah. Let's put on the lower setting. I don't know if this is making, like applying the foundation any easier. It actually feels like I'm just shading, you know, with a razor, like a dude. Look, it's actually blending in quite nicely though. Like it's spreading that out. Oh, it feels so weird on the forehead. Oh, makes me want to sneeze actually. Okay, around the nose, it's a little bit like, <sighs> I just want to sneeze. It's a little bit tickly. Let me have a closer look. It actually blended it quite well, but I feel like it took a lot of the foundation off as well because it is a dry sponge. So maybe I should have like applied a little bit more. Let me just go in a little bit more in the center. I'm just using a tapping motion here. Let's see if this works. No, no, don't do a tapping motion. Okay, now that I have more coverage in the center, I kind of feel like it's a little bit awkward to use around the corners. And then when you press really hard, you get the edges, like the marks on the foundation, like of the device. So I don't know, not that great. Let's switch this out. <gasps> Oops, sorry. I'm just gonna use it on the lower setting because I feel like it feels like much stronger with the brush head. It kind of like pushes the product in. Okay, straight off the bat, I like this better because it has a little bit more like height 
to the head I feel like you know you don't get those edges and because the bristles are quite dense I can kind of like feel it push it into my skin oh I shouldn't have applied this much foundation I thought it would absorb a lot of it but you can see how much coverage there is I have wait I have too much foundation now what if I just use this to take some of that away See how you get the edge marks on this? Guys, ignore the foundation color because it's looking quite fair. I thought this would be a little bit darker on my skin. It's okay, we're going for the Korean look. Out of the two heads, I prefer the brush head because you don't have to use as much foundation. But you know what, in saying that, would I reach for this again? I don't know about this for my face, only because like I put it on the lowest setting and it feels quite strong. And I think if you have sensitive skin, it could maybe like almost irritate it a little bit. But I think this would be really nice for the body. Like if you are doing some sort of like shimmer or even just like bronzing up certain bits, like I feel like this actually feels nicer on the body because it doesn't feel so rough and the vibration is really nice and soothing but on the face i just think it's a little bit too strong for my liking it does give me a more like airbrushed look though because it does really like work the product into my skin like right into my pores so it, i don't feel like the product's just just sitting on there like on the surface the design is also quite solid like it doesn't feel as cheapy and gimmicky as like other vibrating makeup brushes that i've tried so that's another thing if there's a little bit of weight to it so it does feel a little bit more premium oh my god i think a brush feels so much nicer now like the vibrating brush was a little bit like abusive on my skin next up i have some new makeup from a korean brand called vivid studio their whole branding is a lot more vibrant and not really like your typical korean beauty it's definitely has like more pops of colors and their color range like especially some of their lip colors a little bit out there this is their flash eyeshadow palette and these are the colors inside we've got some brick colors browns we've got some shimmers this really cool like green shade there and the pans are all in these like little triangle shapes how cute are they i'm kind of vibing like these three colors I'm gonna pick up this brown shade first. Do a wash of that over my eye. These eyeshadows are definitely more pigmented than most cream brands. It actually almost feels like, you know, like the American, the Western brands. It's actually really pigmented. I'm surprised. The color payoff is really good on this. You actually don't need a lot. I picked up too much just then and I was like, whoa. Guys, this has been the same brown. I'm just building it up to create like a little bit of like dimension. And then I'll just blur out the edges to diffuse it. I'm gonna go in with that green now. It's more like a goldish greenish color. I'm gonna pop that in the center. Oh, do we like it? Do we like it or do we not? Yeah, okay, okay. Then I'll go in with this like shimmery shade. It's actually very glittery. I'm gonna pop it in. Just like the inner corners. I kind of want to layer that on top of the green. It's like that spaced out glitter, you know what I mean? So it's not like a metallic. I'm just kind of blending that over my crease. And then underneath as well. Cool, okay. I think that's pretty much my eyes done. Let me just quickly line them. For lashes today, I'm going to be applying Hana, a more like natural pair. This is what Hannah looks like on. It's a nice, light, natural pair, perfect for everyday wear. So that's my eyes done. Let's move on to blush. I bought two of these. Number six, Acid Pop, and the other one is number seven, Mellow Rhythm. The packaging is also really cute. It's got these like mini ridges on top and it's like an acrylic packaging. I'm just gonna go in with both colors. I'll use like the lighter color, just on my cheeks it's actually very light my brush is like hardly picking up any product yeah these are not as pigmented as the eyeshadows okay we're getting some color now i just gotta go a little bit harder with the brush on the website it says that this has more of like a powder to cream texture and like i can kind of feel that okay it's pretty light but i've like applied the lighter color i think it's really natural actually in person i can see it more on camera i think because of my lighting it's kind of like um washing the blush out a little bit but it's definitely there i'll amp it up with this color i like to just focus like the more like saturated color just 
on my cheekbone pretty much. Okay, trust me, I've got a lot of blush on at the moment. It just doesn't look like it. <laughs> lips, lips, lips. Lips, I got two of their matte liquid lipsticks. Apparently these are matte but not drying, so. Ooh. So that's why I got them. The packaging is really cool, funky. And the applicator is a little bit different as well. Let me show you. It's angled, so you can get like a more, I guess like a sharper edge if you're doing a bold lip. Oh my God, my lips are so dry. You guys know me, I am like super chap woman. Super woman, but super chapped. I guess it's like a natural nude color. It matches my lip color, but it's, it's a little better. I don't want you guys to see my lips. It's so chapped. I like lathered lip balm on. Is there a condition for like severely dry chapped lips all the time? Cause that's what I have. Let me just try to exfoliate a little bit. Sorry guys, we're going again. I think that sharp edge is cool. Cause then I can kind of like almost like line my lips and create it like a little bit bigger. Look, it is a non drying formula, but I think you're supposed to not have dry lips to begin with. <laughs> the other color, this is more of like an orangey. Ooh. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to pop that in the center. Okay, that's my lip combo. What do we think? I mean, it does go with my eye makeup because the brown is warmer. Okay, guys, I'm done with my look. What do you guys think? I think out of everything that I got in today's haul, I like the roller cream the body roller though i still need to keep trying this to see if it actually makes a difference but i really like the the massaging head on this and then also the makeup vivid studio it's like a lot more pigmented it's very different to your typical korean makeup so i do like that maybe not their lipstick so much because i just should not try matte lipsticks until i sort my lips out that's it for today's video. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Oh, it's transfer proof. No transfer. There you go.